Well, I've got two new books to find a home for in here, so I'm going to go through and see what books I can take out of there that I haven't looked at in a long time or it's not really the book for me. <laughs> um, I think definitely I can get rid of this one. I read it when I got it and it might have some of the price of $55, but I haven't looked at it since I last went through my books, I know that. Uh, I just saw another one here. I think I'm going to get rid of these. Um, yeah, that one. Again, not bad books, just not what I need. Um, I think this frostbite one can go. There's not obviously much vegetarian or vegan things in there. So that's another one. I think I might get rid of this one. And I've not ever made anything. Oh no, I have made one recipe from that. I've actually given it two ticks. So I might just make a note of that one. I'll tell you what I will do. Because again, I haven't been through these. So I'm going to get rid of the pioneer woman ones since they aren't vegan or vegetarian. Mostly for bread. And I'll get rid of that one as well since I tried the 5 2 thing and it did not work for me. So I've at least certainly got room for the two books that I've got that are over here. And they can fit in there. It's a good way for me to keep my cookbook collection <laughs> under control. I probably should get rid of heaps more, but that'll do me today. That's a start. And then I will try and go through and try and get rid of some more a bit later. Again, I've had some of these for a long time. I haven't cooked anything from them. I could probably, look, I can let go of that one, even though it's really good. I've got some recipes from that because I've also got it on Kindle. So let's send that one off to someone else. I'd like to get that collection down even more. I feel like I've got too many cookbooks and I don't look at a lot of them. <sighs> that one. Can go. I've never cooked anything out of it. Despite having looked at it through a number of times. But I'll go through the rest of them and have a look at them all. Maybe I should put to, side, to one side the ones I know I want. But yeah. We'll try and downsize some more. Let's get rid of a... I mean, what, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cookbooks at least that I haven't looked at in a long time. I actually decided to go back through my books again and I got rid of another 11 books and that's all I'm keeping at the minute. I think there's still a few more there that could go, but I'll leave them for another few months. And see, I think if I had 10 cookbooks, that would be more than enough. Considering you can get so much on the internet these days and there's so much on YouTube and I have so much on Pinterest. I have so many file already as well I really probably don't need too many cookbooks probably just need to sort of go through them take out the recipes I want or like photo them which is what I did for the ones I wanted I just took photographs um, from the books I had like one or two recipes in it that I knew I liked and then donate the book and someone else can have it enjoy it and store it <laughs> the moment it's only one I know I wouldn't or two probably I can't let go of that one because I know because Kevin's with me when I bought it and he loved the idea of that book <laughs> We've made a few things out of it, but not very much and it was quite expensive But still mainly because he was there and he would want that book kept and this one there she goes cookbook I've made lots of things out of the first one of her books as you can see all the tags there So I wouldn't let go of that one either. I haven't really delved into her new one yet These are my two newest books that I got Oh in November or something and obviously being away. I haven't we really had a chance to play with them yet. Uh, the biggest problem I find is when I get like American cookbooks in particular, a lot of it's just not food that I would eat or I can't get all the ingredients. So that can be a problem. <laughs> and that's often why I end up sort of saying that book's not for me. Like I've got these forks over knives books and I think they're probably two I could get rid of. But, and I didn't think, I don't have much in that one. I don't have much in that one. Not much in that one. Although I know this is like the Bible of vegan <laughs> cooking. Anyway, I'll um, I'll see how I go. Maybe I've got less. I might actually cook from the few that I have if I have less of, less of them. <coughs> this is dog. He's running from outside. <coughs> he's jumped up on the couch. He's barking at us. He's all wet. <coughs> You've had dinner. <laughs> <laughs> have you yep. had dinner? <coughs> he's a bit frisky. He's a bit frisky. Frisky hops and wet. Dog. <coughs> he's a wet dog. Yeah, <coughs> wet doggies. Now the house smells like <coughs> wet dog. I like wet dog smell. <coughs> You got a horrible yes, Rosie. Rosie? Rosie? Oh, 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 oh. Woof. Show 
doing a bum now, Bailey. What are you doing? <laughs> Where are crackers? Yo, crackers! Yeah, you're crackers. Just the crackers. I'm the cow. <laughs> I'm scratching at it. What are you doing? Pussy! Can't dig a hole in my cow. You're your wet doggy. <laughs> Off the couch. Are you a wet puppy? All the dog towels oh. are out in the motorhome until six in the morning. Oh, of course I am. Where's my fiscal? Woo, woo, woo! Woo, woo, woo! Woo! Woo, woo, woo! Woo, woo, woo! Woo, woo, woo! Woo, woo, woo! Woo, I need a T R E A T, Christy. Let's do this way, Christy, this way! Woo! Christy, you Whatever. In the basket, I was telling you. Good morning everyone, it is Friday. I don't even know the last time I vlogged, probably over last weekend, but I haven't edited that video yet. Um, it's been an okay week, very up and down. The mornings are very rough like you are now. I'm not feeling very good. Um, but thankfully, I think every day except for Monday, I sort of felt good by mid to late morning. And I actually was able to do all my routine pretty much. I wasn't able to do meal prep on Monday. But I did a bit yesterday and a bit the day before. And um, I've got my cleaning done the last two days. So I'm really happy. <laughs> so even though the mornings I feel like, oh gosh, this is horrid. I feel terrible. Um, things are going okay overall. So today's clean is, um, but that's why I haven't vlogged much too. Because I've been trying to just get stuck in, get my routines going, make a few adjustments to routines. And I, I think I'll try and do a video about that too. Because obviously with fibromyalgia, things are very different. I was thinking that this morning, I used to clean my whole house in one day. And do other, so much other stuff. And I just can't do that. Now it takes me three, week, three days to clean the house. And sometimes I don't finish cleaning until three or four in the afternoon. It takes me all day just to do a third, my third of the of the house. So I think I will try and do a video of that because so far my routine is working out quite well. And I'm yeah, if I get today's done, which again I've got all day to do it, so I'm taking that pressure off myself. There's no time frame, and it's just to do all the floors today. And yeah, but I'm getting rather on top of things. Yesterday I got all my ironing done. I've been keeping, well, the kitchen maybe not look tidy now, but I've just got medicine out and I asked Kevin to bring through these things that I ironed yesterday. So besides that, cause I've got to refill <laughs> my medicine for the week and yeah, put that away and I want to make something with the bananas. So besides that, the kitchen's pretty done. I haven't done the dishwasher yet, but you can, I, I'm sure you can appreciate that, the, you know, that's pretty clean for me. It's pretty tidy. <laughs> so I've been working really, really hard on keeping things done. But yeah, I think I'll, um, I'll try and film a video showing a bit more of my week. That's going to take a bit of getting organised for me, but yeah, I'll be able to do that. I'm nearly up to date with vlogs, except for the cruise or the holidays still. I'm still working on them, so I'm trying to churn them out a bit more fast. Some videos I can get up quite quick and others take a lot longer. So it just depends on the video, how much there is. But yeah, I'm just getting them out when I can. Um, not ready to go for a W with the dogs yet, but hopefully soon. I just took them for a little one yesterday. Um, yeah, but yeah, things are overall okay. And I've been busy, which is why. I've been busy, but also resting and take, just taking just taking time to get things done. But that's why I haven't picked up the camera all week, really, because I've just been trying to um, get through my things and get stuff organized. Anyway, I'll, um, I'm heading back to the couch now. I get another cup of tea and Head back to the couch and then I'll um, hopefully feel better, maybe another hour or so, hopefully, and we'll get the things done. So I'm still not feeling brilliant this morning. I'm just gonna have some leftover risotto from the other night for dinner, uh, for breakfast, oh my gosh, see, and some water. I did get the washing hung out. <laughs> it started raining, so it's under cover, of course, and I've got the dishwasher empty, so that's sort of my morning chores attended to. <laughs> just gonna go and have this now. I've just been working on my tea cupboard, but unfortunately I forgot to film it before I started on it. So you guys might be familiar with my tea cupboard, I don't know. Um, bigger problem is kids, <laughs> because they've got all, they're Athena, she's got all different size mugs, but I have had a clean out. Um, they don't ever use this one, so I'm thinking they can take that one up to their room. And Christy's got one mug that they don't really use very often. Kevin's got a couple of mugs here. I've got a couple of mugs and then we've got some visitor mugs. I'm not going getting these ones, they're all under the stairs. I've put them there so I've got those when visitors come. I've got four sort of near the poo things and then we've got some extra ones as well. So, and then Kevin often does coffees for people in these anyway. But 
you can see everything it's a lot better um i had that rack across there before so this is obviously all coffee making stuff there and our teacups and then i've got our loose, well, loose oh, 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 oh. okay in there is all my teas it comes out of there all right in the back i've got some tea making accessories i'll probably could clean that out a bit more but i've just left it for now milk jug sugar travel containers and then there's my tea bags and then up there's the iced tea stuff and then coffee stuff I I had that mug. which one yes okay that's your mug because i'm gonna get rid of this one because it's chipped mm. and you say that the handle gets hot so it's not a very safe mug but it's all chipped darling well it's going yeah. um so these i'm going to donate that i'm going to put in the motor home those two and i think that's kevin's you know that's kevin's or is that a thing that's it's probably dad yeah i think so they're so tiny they're not I mean, we don't really none of us use tiny mugs so i think ken wants to take them to work because that other one is a photo one from his bike trip in 2008 you can take them to work because i never use it here and he's got two other mugs or three other mugs i don't know and then these are the teas that have all expired so i will keep these tins i'll tip the tea out and keep them and i found these i don't know how old these are they're probably a couple of years old so i'll get rid of them as well so that's good it looks a lot better and um should be easier to get some things out because still obviously use less mugs but i think that's a good starting point and i've still got one that i'm using today Sorry, I'm a hot sweaty mess again today. Uh, I've just um, vacuumed downstairs and mopped the laundry bathroom and front entry. I haven't done anything in the kitchen yet. So I've just made lunch. So I've made, well before that I did make some vegan sour cream. And then I've made up some toasted burritos. So thin of the toasting at the moment. This is refried beans, rice, tomato, corn, the sour, vegan sour cream and the lettuce. I would just toast them up and they are, oh, there's some salsa in there too. They're so yummy. So I was gonna have a salad because I've got two salads in the fridge, but, oh, so sorry, I look scary. <laughs> but I thought since I've got two salads, oh, sorry, I look so scary. I thought since I've got two salads in the fridge, that can be a Kevin and I for lunch tomorrow. Um, so yeah, I kept them. Oh, so I'm just tripping not hot enough to put the aircon on but once I start moving around it just get really hot but if I sit in front of the fan it's okay um, I did start watching cycling Tuesday I think it started the cycling on in Adelaide at the moment didn't watch it yesterday and I'm probably not going to watch today I don't know if it's Australian coverage or it's just other stuff on I don't know anyway I'll probably watch tomorrow because tomorrow is a mountain stage like a mountain race so <laughs> I'm not gonna watch it again today I don't think oh, I don't know what it is don't know what it's losing interest I don't think so I'm not some of my three favorite cyclists actually my two favorite cyclists are both here for it but I don't know it's, I didn't remember particularly enjoying it last year and I kind of watched it but it's also make it's in the afternoon and I'm watching it live with ads which I hate so it's probably a combination of things I was gonna gonna watch it this morning I thought it's just a sprint stage which is never that exciting like they're just I don't think that it can be exciting finishes, but only the finish is exciting. <laughs> anyway, I'm rambling. Uh, go get this. I'll be doing so much water. It's so hot. Mm. Well, I'm so hot anyway. I feel like I did something else, but I don't know what it was. So probably nothing. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. It is now Saturday morning. And I totally forgot to vlog yesterday afternoon. I don't even know what I filmed, but I'm, I've shared with you what I did film. Um, <laughs> currently making breakfast, making toasted bagels for myself and Athena and Kevin's had a toasted sandwich. They are playing Warcraft and I'm just trying to stay off Twitter since it's quite depressing this morning with all the changes Mr. Trump has already made. Very scary stuff indeed. And um, so I'm trying to stay off Twitter because it's just yeah too depressing. And I said I'm trying to watch some happy YouTube videos and I need to get on with editing some more for you guys. And the plan is to take the puppies to the beach later on so they can then go and have a nice wash. And hopefully Rosie can, hot spots can calm down because she's been suffering hot spots. Might get for a swim. Both the kids are off to parties this afternoon. So it'll be a nice quiet afternoon. <laughs> and then tomorrow we're up to Sydney to see the Hunger Games exhibition. But depending on which footage I've got, that'll be this video. It'll be a separate one. I don't know yet. We'll see. 
because sometimes you can't film in those things so it just depends if i can't film i might not have a lot to video tomorrow but we'll just see how it goes anyway i'm still in the stage of not feeling brilliant but i'm improving like i'm obviously well enough now but it's nearly nearly 10 o'clock and we just feel well enough to get on with making breakfast anyway not a problem it's um, a lovely day outside as you can see well, if you can see, nice and sunny, so hopefully some time by the pool later on will be good. And just a pretty chill, relaxed day. I've now had my shower and got dressed for the day. Um, I'm going to do a little quick go through my wardrobe and see if I can get rid of anything. Because I know that definitely these tops. <laughs> this top I don't like. The material is not a very good material. I think I'm just going to go ahead and donate that one. Like it fits, but and it looks alright, but it's not... A comfortable material to wear so I'm going to donate that one my little bag down there for donating stuff and then these two I don't wear them very often and I probably don't need two tops that are kind of the same but what I'm thinking I might do with these is pop them up into a basket not and that way if I do decide I need them or want them I've got them but maybe I put this one up because I've had this for a few years so it's the older of them I might put that one up there um because nothing really wrong with it i just don't wear it so it's a nice top though so i'm going to put that one up the top in a second and then all oh, these are pretty right this i think i'm going to go off it's past it's best i think i only kept it to wear under things with the lace but i don't feel like i need it now because i've got now i've got five other t-shirts so, and I think it's, you can see, I don't know if you can see there, you can see all the rubbing and stuff. So it's really, that's the problem with cheap clothes. They don't last, now you can sort of see it there very well. I know you can get that stuff off somehow or other. Um, okay. I'm not sure about that one. I think that top's going to be a bit big on now. It's the size I'm wearing. Okay, I haven't worn it for ages, but I don't go anywhere dressy. Um, and I've also got that which I also don't wear very much like I wore them I think it was one on the cruise once okay it's the kind of thing I might wear when the weather cools down that my mum gave me that I don't think I'm going to wear that one so I might donate that one because I've got lots of other three quarter tops This I don't wear very often. Maybe I should just get rid of that one too. All right, I'm going to get rid of this as well. It's a really light jumper, but I don't think I need it in my wardrobe anymore. It might be handy for camping. That's the thing. I've got to think too. We go away in the motorhome too. You need more casual clothes. This is past its best, but I will keep it for now. I think everything else I'm going to keep. I haven't worn this yet because I don't go out. And I didn't take it overseas. I might have worn it. That was... Athena taught me into getting that. <laughs> so everything else is pretty right. That's my winter clothes. It's one thing I do like now. I have just all my clothes are out that currently fit. Um, I think I'm pretty right. This is exercise clothes and jacket and jeans that I don't think quite fit yet. This I only really wear for over my jammy, so I'll keep that because I do wear that in the this is one of those ones but again for exercising it'll probably be quite good in the middle of the year so i think that's all i'm going to get rid of today um so at least i've created a few more hangers so that's good because with a few clothes i did get in america i'd run out of hangers i was sort of like every time the washing was like hard to get through i'm gonna get rid of this look at that i dug it out i haven't worn it for years but the state of it i will um I didn't like the last time I put on anyway because it's used. I've had that. There we go. There's another top. All right. It's a little mini clean out. I still um, want to go through my bags again. And my sock drawer is definitely something I need to go through. Especially now I've got sketches and I've got my sketches socks. So, yeah, I need to do a big clean out of that. But I'll do that another day. My jammy drawer is still looking very nice because I've only got the few. I've got two 90s. Then I've got three jammy bottoms and two tops. And then... In the back there are the tops that what's that that's a three-quarter sleeve top for winter and one top that's a bit tight they went with those bottoms so yeah and then 
Because I found one fail, I'd thrown out my sarong and I wanted a sarong and I've got rid of it. And in the summer I wanted a sarong to wear. Probably I've only got the one sundress this year and then this, that's my swimsuit but it's see-through so you can't th swimsuit cover up. But um, yeah, I wanted a sarong. <laughs> and I don't think I've got any anywhere, I think it's gone. <laughs> you do tend to realise some things so... One day I could pick up a sarong. <laughs> Alright, I'm happy with that anyway, it's a little bit less. I've still got too much. I'm gonna put, I need to try that on. So I'm gonna pop that down there to try on next time I'm getting dressed. And then at least I can see a bit better what I've got. There we go. Yep, I come out the shower and this one's <laughs> in his usual goofy position. He's getting a nice breeze from the curtains. Or from the windows. You get a nice breeze there. I don't know why you're sort of half off, half on though. It's nice though, so you get a nice breeze. Finally got this video. This is the um, snorkeling day, which you will have seen before this vlog. It doesn't feel much today because I've been working on this for hours. I forgot to show lunch, just had a salad though, you know, my normal salad. And Kevin and I started watching a new series, Catastrophe. We only watched the first one. Seems okay, it's a comedy, but um, it seemed alright so far. We'll watch a few more and see. The first 10 minutes I'm going, this is just stupid, it wasn't funny at all, but it seemed to get better. Ken's been working on the motorhome, getting it all ready to go away on Wednesday. Um, what do you have to do? You have to, I don't know, you have to do a few things. Something with the tyres, but I don't know what. We got new tyres put on a while ago, we had to do something else with them. And I made to change the spare tyre, maybe that's what it was or something. I don't know. And then he took it to get it weighed because we were concerned about the weight of it. But it's um, less than what we thought. That's good because we've been thinking of um, getting it reclassified as a truck. But it's actually lighter than what we thought. So it would still be borderline if we got put over scale because it depends obviously on who's in the, who's in the motorhome and exactly what you've got on board. But I think we've got like a couple of hundred kilos to play with. So that's probably a few people, our food and... Um, clothing and that's probably it's probably very close so I think it should be okay so I don't think we'll bother getting reclassified because it's obviously more expensive the insurance goes up only a tr licensed truck driver can drive it which Kevin has got a truck license but when you go to sell it that again makes it more restrictive and people I think would get put off by that but we didn't want to end up getting charged for being overweight but yeah no it's, it was better than Kevin was quite impressed <laughs> quite pleased so I've just been packing our chairs in and things like that we had two extra chairs we've been lugging around so I pulled them out we don't only need three chairs for this next trip anyway and I've got my little sun lounge in there and a beach chair I've got three chairs I can't sit without back support so I can't go to the beach and sit on the beach for a few for an hour or so without any back support my back will end up killing me so I've got a little beach chair um yeah so Kev's been doing that. I've been working on a video he's now gone to pick up Christy from a party both the kids were out I think I already said that Christy dropped Athena, Athena dropped Christy off before and Kevin's just gone to pick her up now and then we're going to take the puppies to the beach because I feel good this afternoon it's, it seems to be the mornings are so rough in the mornings um so it's such a shame I don't know it takes me a long time to get going but I'm getting I get there but it's just it's a shame because I'm so I could be so productive in the morning but anyway what can you do at least I'm not feeling bad all day long Anyway, I'll just wait for this video to share and then I can upload it. Um, yeah, don't have anything else to share with you. Um, I'll, I'll grab the GoPro, I hope it's charged enough. Actually, I might go and put on the charger while I think of it and make sure it's charged and we'll take it to the beach with us.
gonna go to Dr. Jack. Oh my goodness. You look like a drowned rat. Was it ready? It's alright though. Is it good? What happened? I just make Kevin a nice stir fry for dinner. We've got corn in there. Um, yeah, so we're gonna have that and watch some more TV. So we did take the dog to the dog wash on the way home. And I totally forgot to vlog. I'm a bad vlogger these days. So it's still a bit wet. Rosie's quite sandy. And she just had dinner. You know you're dead, Rosie. You wet? <laughs> Are you a tired girl? You're still a bit wet.